Howdy everybody, I am the Rogue Star K17 and I'm back bringing y'all some more Dark Souls. Now, last time we were here we got the Pyromancy Flame and some Fire Spells. And now we've got some people to talk to and some things to do. So let's not waste another second and jump right in to Firelink Shrine. Head on over here and talk to this guy who should have some things to say since we rang the first bell. Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait. Was it you? You never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> Shut up. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do everything. You just watch. Oh, and we also got this guy back since we rescued him. So we've got a spell vendor in uh, the shrine now. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Uh -huh. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. So yeah, talking to him gives you some insight on their mission. And by there, I mean these guys who are here now. They're this dude's companions, and I'm not really messing with them all that much because I'm a pyromancer right now. Um, I'll mainly be messing with her when I go as a cleric in this game, which I will be doing eventually, so yeah. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people probably already know the gist about most of them. We will be seeing them later. We're gonna have to interact with, uh, the girl at some point. We're gonna have to kill those two, and I'll probably just kill this guy just because I don't like him messing with Rhea, uh, it's just mean, so, I always kill him, because he's a douche, and a liar, so, yeah, that'll be, that'll be later, but we'll mainly be saving her, and, like, talking to her a lot, and exhausting her dialogue, and making sure nothing happens to her when we're a cleric, I'll, I might let her die and see her in, uh, Seath's place this, this go-round. I usually don't do that, no matter who I play as, just because, you know, it's, it's a terrible fate. Don't think I've actually equipped my Pyromancy Flame yet. It's five. Yes! Ah! Yeah. Shouldn't need these anymore. And somebody else must have kindled the bonfire while I was sitting here because I got 11 Estus flasks now. Isn't that dandy? Alright. Now, the first thing we're going to do is head down here. Ooh, I do hope I have enough firebombs. I've got 17 firebombs and 8 fireballs. And 6 fireballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have. I should have enough. I should have enough to kill the undead dragon that's down in the valley of the drakes it's gonna be quite the trip we gotta head down here which I don't think I've done yet yeah you can see I don't know if you saw briefly those statues but they're like right underneath this thing as if you can only pray if it's slightly lowered like see these ones are at the right height but the other ones are slightly below it's it's weird I don't know I don't think there's really much for us to mess with. This will bring the lever back down, but we're not going to do that. We're going to Homeward Bone out of here, so... I'm just going to send that back up so that we don't accidentally walk down the hole the next time around. And we could just head straight up here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the S-Dock. Dude's praying to a pot. Not sure why. Just come over here, and you get the S-Dock. So yeah, how about that? That's another weapon I like to use when I'm a cleric, because when I'm doing lightning damage, I like to be about pierce weapons. Plus, her character is just more of an elegant sword fighter. She doesn't like to use ugly or brutish weapons. Because I like to get into my characters. This guy prefers swords. Big swords, curved swords, doesn't matter. Just swords. 
Not a fan of blunt weapons. Not a fan of anything hafted. Hafted? That's a word that I learned. Playing Aiden Chronicles the First Mage. Another game I'd really like to play on this channel. I think it'd be really, really, really cool to play that game. Should I go for an attack and then run up here? No, I'm not going to chance it. Hit him with everything we got. Undead things take more damage from fire, so this is probably the best way to kill him. And as you can notice, I am constantly backstepping. See, if you go down and you fight him, he'll attack you if you're down there. But so long as you stay up on this convenient little ledge that the game creators have given to you, you are untouchable. But every time he throws a fireball or chucks a uh, firebomb, he steps forward a little. And if you're not constantly stepping back, you will step off and he will immediately waste no time and attack. So as you can see, the fireballs are a little stronger. Once I've upgraded the thing, of course. Right off the jump, the... Uh, the fire bombs are actually stronger, especially the black fire bombs. Dragon scale. Those items only matter when I come through as one of my two different mage characters that I like to do. And the crest shield and the astor straight sword. Those are what's his name's weapons. Now, uh, Oscar, the guy that we met in the prison. As you can see over there, there's some things. Those are dragons. There's a big gate over there gonna mess with any of that right now we're just going to head back where we came from we're actually going to use homeward bone but yeah this crest shield is the main reason we came or the, the only reason really that we came is because we're about to head back to the asylum and fight oscar and he will be wielding this sword which as you can see deals a good bit of magic damage it is also divine, so it kills uh, it kills things permanently. Pretty useful. Yeah. The big hat. That's an item I like to use on my other mage character. We're back and we've got the stuff. We have the means and technology. So yeah, after a few rests or you, after a few, you know, black loading screens or whatever, you, uh, they will be gone and, you know, then after a few more, Petrus will come back and he will have abandoned them. The way she goes. But yeah, the firebombs are stronger at first, but when you upgrade the pyromancy flame, it becomes stronger for the firebombs. And it'll be much stronger in the future. Nice roll, puts us at the proper distance. That's what you want to do. I messed it up last time and just sprinted off. I, I keep getting mixed up. It's been a while since I played this game the last time. Um, not like the last time, like the failed playthrough, but uh, the last time was like before that because I was rust buckets on that playthrough as well, which is probably why I died and lost everything. Now we're going to head up here. Oh, wait, no. We got to get this first. So, another roll. There we go. And now we can get right back up. Provided we don't mess up this. Yeah! We don't have to do it all again! Sweet! We just come right back up the stairs. Now we gotta come and we gotta crouch in this nest for a good little while and the bird will pick us up and take us back. Curl up like a ball. Take a sip of my drink here. Drink! Alright. Let me 
just gotta wait for this guy. Oh, and we do have our pyromancies back. That's nice. Now, the area is gonna be a little bit different once we get there. There are gonna be some enemies there that weren't there before. And they're also going to have more health than they should, which makes them a particular pain in the ass. Dramatic. They also do... They, also, they like have the torches and they do that annoying thing where they swing it side to side really fast and it can like it can one shot you if you just run into it which I do because you know I get excited and I just I just want to jump right in I don't want to have low stamina either that one right there not this time, buddy. Yeah, see what I mean? They deal more damage than they should. And that's what you get. You get stabbed through the butthole. Through the butthole. Ah, the sound of walking on snow. Alright, so... As you can see, those enemies dealt more damage than enemies that look like this usually do. So, you'll want to look out for that. Now, when you come into this room, this room is also different. Not noticeably different, but it is different. The floor right there, at the bottom of the stairs, will crumble a little ways out. It will break, and you will fall down, and there will be a really hard boss fight that I don't like to do until much later when I'm much better prepared. He's the one we saw stomping around when we first left this place. Not the one that jumped down from the top. He's the one down below. He's much stronger. Much. So. Let's not underestimate him. Now there's Black Knight down there, but I'm not going to mess with him. There's only one Black Knight I have to mess with, and that's the one I'm going to mess with because, uh... I I don't want to get the other Black Knights until I have items to raise my item discovery. So, like, at least the ring. Because I want to get the Black Knight sword. So I don't want to kill all the Black Knights before I have the chance to do that. See what I'm saying? I didn't want to do that. Okay, yeah, that's more than my, that's more than my uh, thing. Even with their fire resistance, I think. So we don't have to fight him now to get to fight Oscar and get the rusted ring that we came here for. But I would be remiss if I left without grabbing the doll because I'll get to an Orlando and I'll not have it. And oh, I feel so stupid when that happens. I don't want that to happen now. So I'll just go ahead and take care of it. But I don't want Oscar to come down and jump me, so let me... Dragon Crest Shield, because this shield has high magic resistance. I didn't, I, I don't think I finished talking about that. So his sword deals magic damage, and this sword has magic resistance. So, it's a good fit for this fight. Oof. Sorry about it, buddy. Yeah, he's not too hard if you handle him correctly, but he can be. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the shield. He drops the shield. I'm mixed up! Okay, yes, this is the Dragon Crest shield, and it gives you good fire resistance. This is the Crest shield, and gives you good magic resistance. Yeah, as you can see, their values are kind of flipped. Crest shield gives 80 magic 55 fire, 45 lightning. They both give 45 lightning. I guess the Dragon Crest shield is better. Or no, it's worse. Well, it's 5 better in the one that it's good at, but it's worse in the one that it's bad at. So the Crest shield blocks more fire than the Dragon shield blocks of magic. Which is interesting. Although the Dragon blocks more fire than the Crest blocks of magic. Which, 
is more important in my opinion because you don't pull this shield out to block magic. You pull it out to block fire. So, yeah. I don't really mind it. But I'm going to switch back to the heater shield because it's lighter though. Oh, I should have tried to hit Oscar with that. I usually do that. And it usually works out pretty good. Dang. That's a shame. It's always really sad. It doesn't do a whole bunch of damage, but it is very satisfying to do. Thrust. Thrust. It'd be cool if you could jump attack down and through the floor and then land on the other guy's head and get like a super, super critical. We got the key now. So we can head on over here. And grab the rusted iron ring. Which I will equip before I forget to. It says improves balance on poor footing. Which um, you can read into a little more. But pretty much what it means is you walk at full speed even when you're ankle deep in water. Or knee deep even. Now I'm going to try and do this without using the bonfire so that I can just homeward bone out of here. I got to fight this guy. And you know what? I might as well fight the other guy because I don't feel like coming back here just for one night. I really don't. But I don't have any items to increase my item discovery right now. <sighs> ah, well. Say lovey. Say lovey. Now, when you come down here, you're going to notice Turd Munch McGee down the hall. I'm going to shoot him in the face and get him to come into the room with the water. Now that we have the rusted iron ring, that won't even slow us down. Oh my god, really? That much to the right? Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing how off that is. Alright, come on, big boy. Now, his attacks hurt a lot, and he's still very much capable of one-shotting us at this point. Or, at least, obliterating us with a combo. That's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Now, they're resistant to fire, so this isn't the best situation, but I think its raw damage is still higher than that of my Drake Sword in the end. Or maybe not, but uh, I'm using it, so... May as well get used to the weapon I've chosen to hone my skills with. Alright. One more and this clown is done. Please drop your sword. Please. Please. I really, really want it. Oh, he didn't drop it. And then watch me run out and not even grab the doll. I do that too. I've done that before. I'll come down here, I'll fight the knight, and then I'll just turn and leave. I won't even come and get the item he's guarding. And ooh! Mmm! Mmm, I be heated. I be heated when I get to Anne Orlando and I walk up to the painting and I can't do anything. Because I'll be like, I went back! I fought the knight! And I'll be like, but I didn't. Yeah, see, he's waiting now. As you can see, he's not walking around anymore. Because... Now that the floor can, now that the map has kind of changed, there's more enemies and the floor can cave in, he is now ready for combat. Waiting for us to fall in so that he can jump us. That's why you don't hear his footsteps anymore. He's a butthole. The game's a butthole. So yeah, the last time, as you remember, when we walked away from beating up the guy when we first left, we were kind of doing a slow walk, but now we walk full speed. I suppose I'll go ahead and kill the other guy. Get all that mess out of the way. Yeah. 
Come on, butt munch. That's not good. See what happens when you don't do the backstab like you're supposed to. And I didn't even want to fight that guy. And now, I've got to go all the way back just to get my stuff. Look what you done did. This is, this is why we backstab when we're behind people. I hope you feel stupid. And I hope you've learned your lesson. Now, come on. All right, let's try this again. <sighs> Did we not learn our lesson? Whoa, buddy, you're really trying, aren't you? There we go, that's better. This stupid wall over here. Idiot! This guy is really mean. Don't use all your stamina! You scare me, man. You scare me. And I'm talking to my character, not the knight. And I didn't even get the sword! <sighs> well, I'm not gonna go back and get the one that's guarding the tear stone ring, because I don't even really want that ring. I'll get that one when I have some item discovery items. And I'll save any others. If there are any others, those are the main two. Although I guess with each one that doesn't drop one, the next one is more likely to drop one, so. I don't know if that's even how statistics work. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Okay, we're gonna warp back to Firelink Shrine. And call the episode there. Cause we're running at about twenty or so minutes, so I think that's a good place to call it. I do hope that anyone who watched enjoyed the video. Hope it was worth the watch. If it was, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see anybody in the next video. Hold on. Combine them. Let's go, baby! Woo! On top. Boogie down! Woo! Ooh. Do you hear and it, Jake? Then hit R2. Then hit R2 once they're combined. So wait, what do I gotta combine? The, the cassette, cassette and the, the tape. Player. Come on, bro, you're missing out. <laughs>